is which are basically uh, having the non-technical uh, courses. So uh, this is a very brief uh, introduction of this entry exit program. Now the floor is open for the discussion. So we'll collect all the discussions which will be shared by the panel members and we'll uh, incorporate in the final document. So now I, now I hand over this session to the our moderator, Professor Aditya Trividi, sir. So now from here, uh, Professor sir will be uh, taking care of this session. Uh, okay. Trividi, sir, you please. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sunil, and very good afternoon to all the panel members. As you know, this panel one is basically meant for this uh, introduction of anti exit norms of participation and curriculum. So, here basically, there are 11 panel members are there, and uh, eight have joined online, and three offline members are there. So, first, we will go through the online members. And uh, I uh, expect that each and every member will take around 8 to 10 minutes of time so that we can finish the session in time. So, first, I request uh, Professor Rajat Muna to share his thoughts on this uh, particular topic. So, Professor Rajat Muna. Can you also share the I order in which you will be calling the speakers so it becomes clear? Yeah, I think uh, this order is already shared earlier. Okay, okay. So just go through it, sir. And okay. uh, Professor Rajat Muna is the first, I think. Okay. Second is uh, Professor Pankaj Mittal. Third is Professor Lit Avasti. Like that. It's already shared, sir. Thank you, Dr. Aditya. Uh, I'm happy to be here and uh, uh, looking at the flexible uh, program, flexible academic program for Triple IIT. Um, there are few points i mean first of all let me say that it's a very well articulated but i have few points that i want to actually before we get into the curriculum of it i want to actually look at certain other things first is i mean are we clear about the objectives that is number one because i have not seen the objectives very clearly articulated why and what is the uh, reason why we want, for example, literal entries have been proposed after class 12, after, uh, you know, minimum uh, certification, but then the certification probably doesn't happen. Then after that, there is a, a diploma or equivalent. Um, then there is an advanced diploma or equivalent. Then there's a BTEC or equivalent. So essentially what is being done is that entire academic curriculum of BTEC, MTEC, PhD is created a pipeline where there is a literal entry that is possible. And that's a very interesting point. However, the modality, the method on how do you admit students, for example, after class 12, it is J through JE and there is no problem on that through JE main. But how do you do evaluation of people who actually come in the third semester entry into the third semester what is their preparation minimum preparation that is required and how do you judge that they actually are there at that level or not similarly how do you do it for uh, the people who are actually coming after two years that is entry into the third year how do you actually what is the minimum requirement what is the minimum exposure that is needed and how do you handle uh, the admission and same thing goes on in my opinion entry into the fourth third year is probably not a meaningful entry because it's too close to the exit of btech final year i mean btech program so third year and third year entry is probably uh, getting a little too uh, you know a uh, little too advanced into this thing you probably would not even know the students well enough and their capabilities. Uh, the exit side, yes, I mean, I see a lot of exits and essentially at every year there's an exit. But again, the question is, do we really need these many exits? What is the purpose? What is the max? You know, when a person goes out, let's say with the, with the advanced diploma in a particular program, what is his employability? Where can he actually be, uh, you know, which all places can he go for higher education? And what is the minimum preparedness that is actually available to him? 
especially considering that a student may actually join at the end of first year and may exit out at the end of second year, then do we still be able to uh, you know, handle this situation? So these are the things that we need to actually work out. Uh, to me, it appears when we are actually getting into the flexibility, then having these rigid structures of years should actually not be there. It should be, you know, program should be made completely credit based, in which case students may come at any point in time, provided they have certain credits, you can specify the minimum requirement and probably one entry into the BTEC program in between is good enough. One entry at the beginning, one entry at the in between. And then there's an exit, which is a formal exit of BTEC program. However, some people might want to continue into the master's program and few more students might actually join into the entry of master's program. And then probably, yes, I'm, I'm fine with postgraduate diploma after one year and then the master's program and tech program. And then it continues for PhD. Essentially, outgoing students will actually get at least two degree certificates, BTEC, MTEC and PhD, of course, but in between, they probably are going to get diplomas. They probably are going to get only certificate program. So once somebody crosses four year, at least it is guaranteed that he will get the BTEC degree. Okay, or at once uh, four year of this program that is proposed. However, I would still say that if we look at the credit system and say, if somebody has crossed these many credits, and then in credits, we can specify the uh, mandatory courses of department, mandatory courses of the institute, non-department, optional electives, departmental, optional electives, which are open electives, then the humanity courses, other social courses, social activities, and you can just work out on that. And then once somebody uh, qualifies the minimum requirement for an exit, he is now eligible for that exit. What happens in this particular structure, rigid structure is, for example, if somebody, because of whatever reason, because he was not well, he took a semester drop, or because he got a fail grade in one of the courses, adjusting them becomes not much more difficult unless you are asking him to repeat the entire year by itself. And that will probably be too taxing for the student. So this is uh, my input right now. Uh, I will probably come back on this after hearing with others. So thank you very much. Thanks, uh, Professor Rajat Muna. I think your points are well taken. This uh, about the entry concern, particularly in the later stages and uh, exit should be credit based, not year wise. We'll discuss on these issues further later on. So now I invite uh, Dr. Pankaj.